Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in the previous session, we have seen uh, different functions used to join two different arrays. So in this session, we'll see a few more functions in order to split the given array. So we can split the given array into equal divisions, the number of divisions we require, right? So that for that uh, purpose, there are a few uh, built-in functions available in NumPy. So we'll go with one by one, right? So today's session is splitting the array. Splitting means dividing, divisions, right? So for this, the first method we are having is a split function here. It will take two parameters. One is the array name, which we want to split and the number of splits. Number of splits, right? Number of splits. And here, there is a constraint that the number of splits, it will be an equal division, equal division, right? So for example, if an array consists of some 10 elements, okay, array consists of some 10, 10 elements, similarly like uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9, and 10, okay, 10 elements are there. So if you want to split it, uh, this can be possible for only equal divisions, right? So split of A comma 2, that is possible because it will be having 5 with 1 array and 5 with 1 array. Okay, array 1 and array 2. So it will be splitted with an equal divisions. And if you are using in this one, if you want to split in 3 divisions, it is not possible to have a 3 equal divisions for 10 elements. Right? There, will, there is no possibility of equal dividing of 10 elements. Right? So that's why this will raise an a value error. So it, it will not work, it will not work, right? The split function is only possible to split the equal division of elements, equal division of elements, right? So in order to get any divisions, then we have to go with a one more uh, function called array underscore split. So there is an un, uh, another function called array underscore split which will take again two parameters as an argument first one is the array which we want to split as well as here the number of splits right so first it will check for the equal divisions if it is possible the equal divisions will be done if it is not possible then the arrangement will be done from the last element the arrangement will be done from the last element right so it will adjust in such a way that it will it have to split the array in the number of splits okay which we have specified in the array underscore split so it will adjust the elements so how many elements should be there in first array how many elements should be there in second array and how many elements it should be there in third array so it will uh, adjust accordingly so that will be considered from the last element itself not from the first element right so from the last element so don't worry i will execute this function so that uh, if you are having any doubts still so those doubts will be clarified right and then array underscore split uh, similar to our uh, uh, our join function here also we are having some h split h split h split is there okay and similarly v split v split function is also available but this will not be applicable for one dimension okay it will not applicable for 1d array okay so a minimum of 2d array is required to implement v split function okay so minimum it is required to have at least a two dimensional array in order to execute this v split okay so this h split also is similar to our array split okay it will split the array in a horizontal way it will split the array in vertical way right so this is all about the split so these are the functions we are supposed to see in the interpreter so for splitting the array so, so i will show you the execution of all these functions in the interpreter 
so let us move on to the interpreter so that if you are having any doubts so those doubts will be clarified right so let us move on to the compiler hello friends so just now we have seen different functions uh, for uh, splitting the array so we'll see the implementation part of all those functions so first of all we have to import the numpy module so i am giving some alias name for this one so that we have to call all the functions by using that alias name so i'm um, first of all we'll create a one a one dimensional array by using the existing functions so np dot a range of uh, some we will we'll consider some uh, 10 elements so i'll give 10 uh, so if you print a we'll having the elements 10 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 so so if you just print like this uh, it will be printed here so if you print a so we can get in an array format okay so now we have to split this complete one dimensional array into multiple arrays so for that we'll use uh, different functions so first we'll go with the split function so np dot split of a comma we have to give the dimensions so just want to give a dimensions uh, like three uh, yeah mm, like a two so it will give a two equal halves okay split function will split the given array in equal differences right so here we are having around the 10 elements and in this 10 elements it will be split into two halves that means exactly five and five and if you try to split in a three elements it will raise an error right because the equal division is not possible for complete 10 elements right so we are splitting into three arrays the 10 elements cannot be uh, split into three equal distributions so that's why we are we are getting the error so in order to avoid this type of errors we'll move on with one more function called np dot array underscore split so in in this array underscore split so if you give a a two so it will distribute in a similar way that means it will give the equal divisions and uh, if you want to divide in unequal distributions it will uh, arrange the i mean it will split the given array uh, and it will uh, adjust the elements from the last onwards so if you observe here so if you are giving if you are trying to split the complete 10 elements into three differences so see the first array consists of four elements and the second array consists of three elements and the third array consists of the three elements so it will start adjusting the elements from the last onwards okay so you can observe here once again so if you distribute equally with the four so you can observe first two are in a three elements and the second two elements i mean uh, the remaining two arrays are of two elements right so this is how it will it will distribute the elements in different ways okay if you are using only the split function that split function can only split the given array in equal divisions okay so if it is an unequal division then we can go with the array split so that the adjustments will be done from the last onwards right so this is all about the array underscore split and similarly we can we can we are having a one more split function called horizontal split and a vertical split so if you move on with the horizontal split so before going to horizontal split we will see the elements so see here we are not initializing the result to any other array so that's why this is only the uh, i mean it will not be saved in any other array okay so now so the elements of array were not, uh, was not changed so only the 10 elements are there so I, now i am uh, splitting using the h split h split is nothing but horizontal split Right. Oh, sorry. So horizontal split. So here also we have to give the differences. So okay, sorry, sorry. We'll also give the equal distribution. So we'll take the equal distribution. So you can observe here. So horizontal split means this will be one in one uh, sub elements and this is one other sub element. So I will just give. Uh, I will initialize this to one array. So if you print this array you can observe the two elements okay so this is the first elements and this is the second elements right so and similarly the vertical split vertical split 
is not possible for a single dimension so vertical split only works on arrays of two or more dimensions so that means at least two dimensions must be there for vertical split for implementing the vertical split so normal it, it will not be working on the single dimensions so i will create a multiple dimensions here so c is equal to np dot a range of some six dot reshape two comma three so two uh, two dimensions with three elements so you can observe here so this is the so if you can observe here so if i print c you can get two different dimensions two rows with the three columns two rows with the three columns right now you can observe here if you apply the v split v split function c comma 2 okay you can observe sorry i will i will give the result and i will save the result and we will we'll observe so you can observe here so this one is a one element and the next one is another element okay two one dimensional arrays two one dimensional arrays so previously this is not a two one dimensional arrays this is two dimensional arrays so the two into three okay it's a single element so two into three and now here it was not like that so it is a two single dimensions okay so this is how we can uh, use this uh, v split and uh, h split functions so h split means horizontal split so that is also only possible for uh, equal divisions so similar to our split function right so if you are using the split function for uneven uh, divisions unequal divisions so automatically it will raise an error this is the error right for that we are using the array underscore split function so it can be worked for any splits okay for any splits it may be either equal divisions or unequal divisions and similarly h split horizontal split and a vertical split vertical split there is a constraint that vertical split only works on arrays of two or more dimensions it will not be worked for one dimension see here you can observe a is a one dimensional array so it this this bit cannot be applied for one dimensional array so that's why i have created a two dimensional array and then i am applying the v split so that it will be differentiated to different elements right so hope you understood this one so this is all about uh, split operations so split array underscore split h split and a v split so these are the functions available for splitting the given array right so if you are having any doubts regarding this uh, split functions feel free to post your doubts in the comment section so that definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you are really understood my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so thanks for watching thank you very much